I was walking down the street the other day, just minding my own business, when a lovely fellow decided to roll down his window and yell, Heil Hitler. And it could be very uncomfortable that a random person is essentially saying that he wants you dead. And so many really smart people have tried to figure out a way to put a stop to it. Some feel that we should focus on trying to educate people about why they should have more tolerance towards others. Some feel that we should punish anyone that acts anti-Semitic. Some think that rallies would be helpful. But for some reason, all the organizations and ideas don't seem to be helping. And on the contrary, right now, it definitely seems to be getting worse. So I'm going to offer you a much more realistic approach to solving this problem, which worked for me. You see, if you realize that every single thing that happens to you is directly decided by your creator who loves you, and even when it involves other people, they can only accomplish what they try to do. If your creator also decides that that is the best possible thing that can happen to you. If you live your life with this awareness, then there is no reason to be worried about what anyone else says or does because they don't actually have any power to harm you. And because I had this mindset, when that fellow yelled at me, I just smiled back and waved because I honestly did not care. In fact, I thought it was quite funny that I was causing him to be so angry just by looking like a Jew. And yet he couldn't make me angry even by yelling about wanting to kill me. So if you want to really defeat anti-Semitism, then although you may not be able to stop people from saying or doing anti-Semitic things, but you can defeat them by taking away the ability for them to be able to affect you with their words or actions. And the best way to do that is by putting a system in place to remind you that your creator is always in control of everything that happens, and then you'll have no reason to care about what anyone else says or does. Also, it's very important to remember that the fact that our creator allows these people to exist in the first place is not by accident. And really, he doesn't need our help getting rid of them. Because the real reason he allows them to exist in the first place is really to encourage us to get closer to him and to trust in him. So yes, if you have an opportunity to help as an activist in a significant way, then that may be the proper thing to do. But if you don't put your main focus on the root of why he's doing this to us, then you are very much missing the boat. So if you feel like you really want to help out, then the most effective thing that you can do is to strengthen your own trust in your creator and to share this with others and help them strengthen their trust as well. And then not only will you not be affected by them anymore, but you'll be taking away the need for our creator to keep sending us so many painful reminders that we need to trust in him. And then just like he's the one who put them here in the first place, he'll be the one to get rid of them as well.